Hello, this is Ken Crawford. In this tutorial series, we're going to explore what masks are and where they live and how we can use them to push your images to new heights. The real benefit of Photoshop is its layers panel and the ability to blend a stack of layers all together in real time. Masks live in the channels panel and are always made up of grayscale image. In fact, Photoshop is really a grayscale editor and in RGB mode, there are at least three grayscale images that are blended and channeled together at the same time. These grayscale images are called channels. You can think of channels like pipelines that flow the color information of each grayscale image into a complete color image. Masks do not define color information, but instead they convey selection and transparency. Let me demonstrate what we're talking about. What I have here is a nice white canvas. And what I want to do is paint on the canvas using a stencil. So what I've done is I've made a mask. And I'm going to turn the mask on so you can see it with alt clicking the mask. And as you can see, it's made up of white and black. And there's white text on top of a black background. Now I like to have my channels panel separate. This is because masks live in the channels and specifically in alpha channels and all an alpha channel is is a channel that contains a mask there's a couple of sayings about masks that will help you understand how they work black conceals and white reveals and another way to think about it is white selects and black protects so to demonstrate this I'm going to click on the layer itself and I have a paintbrush. Using the paintbrush, I'm going to take this white canvas and I'm going to take a nice stroke right across it. And as you can see, my paint is showing up on the layer, but the mask with its black pixels is blocking or protecting the pixels from migrating down to my nice white canvas. But if I go ahead and start painting across the white areas of the mask, it acts just like a stencil. The white areas of the mask reveals the pixels of the layer. Or another way to think about it, it selects those to allow those to transfer down to my nice white canvas. Now that we can understand that masks are really grayscale images, and that we know the rules of the mask and, and how they protect certain areas and how they select certain areas, we can move on to the next segment.